Hey kiddos, so this week we are going to learn how to um, address envelopes and postcards. So I have a joke for you. What did the envelope say to the stamp? Stick with me and you'll go places. I, 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 I get it? Because you put a stamp on an envelope and you send it somewhere. Woohoo! Okay, so let's talk about the parts of an envelope really quick. Um, there are three main things on an envelope. You have the writer's address, which is also called the return address. Um, you have the reader's address or the recipient's address, and then you have to put postage on it. Now, the writer is the person that is writing the letter, okay? And in this case, it's going to be you. The recipient is whoever you want to read the letter. Who is the letter meant for? Who is the person that's going to be reading the letter? Now, the postage is a stamp. If you go to the post office, they may actually just stamp it with a stamp or they'll put a sticker, they'll print something out, or you can buy a box of stamps or a book of stamps, and then you can just lick and stick it on an envelope and put it in your mailbox. Um, postage can vary in price depending on the size of the envelope and the weight of what you're sending. So sending a little postcard is a lot cheaper than like, say, shipping an elephant in the mail. Okay. I don't even know if you can ship an elephant in the mail, but you know, zoos have to get elephants somehow, right? Um, but there are a few things that you need to know in order to address an envelope you need to know your address, okay? You need to know the house number, the name of the street, the city, the state, and the zip code. Um, you also need to know the house number, the street name, the city, the state, and zip code of the place that you're sending the envelope. And you'll need to know some abbreviations for both the streets and the states. So take a look at what I have down here, this little example. Okay, when I say house number, it's the number of it's the number of your house. Okay, um, the houses on one side of the street will probably have even numbers, and the house on the opposite side of the street will probably be all um, odd numbers. So whatever number you, is on the side of your house or whatever apartment number you live in, um, then that would be the house number. Then, what is the name of the street that you live on? Um, Woodley Elementary is building number 2006, and it is on O'Farrell Street. So Woodley Elementary's address is 2006 O'Farrell Street. Now we are in the city of Hattiesburg in the state of Mississippi. Now a lot of cities will have multiple zip codes. Like over here on this side of Hattiesburg, it's 39401. Um, over there closer to like the mall area, that's 39402, okay? Um, if you go a little bit further down the road, like towards where Miss Seal lives, that's 39475. So the zip codes can change um, from area to area, even within just a, what seems like a small town or a small area. Okay. Um, another abbreviation that you need to know, just to keep your um, letters from not being so long, um, the addresses for me and so long is writing the abbreviation for the street because sometimes you can live on a street. Street is kind of like a generic term for um, that pavement that is in front of your house because it doesn't always have to be a street. It could be an avenue or a lane or a drive or a circle or a road, okay? Um, and because it's an abbreviation, you need to put the period at the end. Can anybody notice uh, something that's wrong with the, um, the slide right here? If you said that road is missing the period after the abbreviation, you are correct. 
okay? Um, I forgot to add that in while I was typing, but because it's an abbreviation, you have to put the period after the end. Now, take a look at how the address is line, laid out, okay? You have the person's first name and their last name. You have their house number, the name of the street, what kind of street is it? Street, road, circle, lane, boulevard, okay? You have the name of the city followed by a what? Comma. Then you have the abbreviation for the state also followed by a comma and that is followed by the zip code. Now you don't have to put the United States unless you are sending it from a different country. So Cooper Carter is sending this from Canada to the United States. So that is why they put United States. But if you're sending a letter to your Meemaw who lives in Florida, you do not have to put United States. But I want you to go ahead and look at this state um, abbreviation. All of the different states have a two-letter abbreviation. What is the abbreviation for Mississippi? MS. Awesome. Good job. Now, if you look around this map, you can see that there are all two-letter abbreviations, even for the states that have super long names like Mississippi and Pennsylvania, and even the little tiny uh, states that have short names like Ohio or uh, Utah, okay? It's still two letters whether it's a long state name or a short state name, okay? So we're going to create a postcard. Now usually when postcards arrive, um, there's not a lot that's said because they're not very big. Most postcards are pretty small. They're about four by six or three by five. So that's not a very big, that usually fits in about the palm of your hand, okay? But the front of the postcard, the front of the postcard um, usually has a picture of wherever it is that you're visiting. So this one says, greetings from California, okay? Um, it could be uh, from Florida, it could be from Mississippi, it could be from Alabama. Really, you can go to just about any gas station and pick up a postcard. So um, this back half of the postcard will look like this. You see the area up here in the top right-hand corner for the postage. You see below the postage is where you put the address that you are sending it to. And on this side, you put your message. And like I said, because postcards are so small, you do not have to put the return address on a postcard, okay? So it's very important to make sure you put the correct recipient's address so that it is delivered. Okay, so when you write a postcard, you usually write a very short, message. Dear mom and dad, I am having a great time in California. Did you know that the Golden Great Gate Bridge does not have a Golden Gate? I wonder why they named it that in the first place. I'm really looking forward to going to Mexico after we leave here. I will be so happy when I see you again. Love always, Dee Dee. That is the message, and on this side you put the recipient's address, the receiver's address, the person that is going to read the letter, okay? So now we're gonna take a field trip, all right? So as you click through the following slides, you will notice that we're in an airport, okay? Because if we're going to make a postcard, we need to visit some awesome places. So I want you to check out some of the super cool places that you can visit. Now you have a choice. You can visit some different places in the United States. You can visit a couple places in Africa or in Europe. You can go to South America, or you can go to Asia. Also, if flying is not your jam, okay, if you do not like flying, you have the choice of taking the bus, okay? 
So what I would like you to do is I would like you to pick one of these places, some place that you would like to go and visit. So let's say we're going to travel to US to some place in the US together. So I clicked on the US and it takes me to this terminal and I have these places to choose from. So I can either go to the Grand Canyon, I can go to the Kennedy Space Center, I can go to the Colorado River, or I can go to Yosemite. All right. So I would click on any one of these places, and what it's what's going to happen is it's going to open up um, app called Google Trek, which will give you a chance to see these places in like a 360 degree tour. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and choose one of these places. Um, I'm, let's just say let's go to the Grand Canyon. So you'll see that it will open a different window and it will take you to the Grand Canyon. And it's really awesome because it gives you some great information about the Grand Canyon, okay? But it also gives you the chance to experience the Grand Canyon yourself. So you can take off with a team of people and it records it as you're walking through the Grand Canyon. So for example, if you were here, you can look all around and see completely 360 degrees all the way around. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Guys, I've always wanted to go to the Grand Canyon. I'm just afraid I will get lost. I'm sure I would probably have to have a guide. So. In your trek, you can go to the Grand Canyon, you can go to Yosemite, let's say we're going to walk up this track and see all this cool stuff. Oh, there's somebody else, we're going to run into them. Oh, he's turning around and saying hi. He says, hey, don't forget to bring your water. It's going to be a long walk up. Okay, so what I would like for you to do is pick one of these awesome places to explore, okay? When you explore that area, afterwards, um, I would like you to create your own postcard, okay? And that is very easy to do by just taking a sheet of paper and um, on one side you can draw a picture of wherever it is that you decided to visit and on the other side you can write your message and who you want to send it to. Now remember a postcard is not as big as a regular letter so when you do uh, your postcard fold your paper in half or get your mom and dad to help you cut the post uh, cut the paper down to a postcard size. Okay, if you'd like to take a picture and send it to me, I would love to see it. Um, or if you want to address it and send it to Woodley Elementary School, the address again is 2006 O'Farrell Street, right here, 2006 O'Farrell Street, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, 39401. But again, you probably are going to have to get your mom and dad to help you cut down like a um, an index card and you will have to put some stamps on it or a stamp on it. Okay, so I look forward to seeing your postcards and I look forward to seeing you all hopefully very soon.